Welcome back to 100 Lies the God Culture teaches about the Philippines. Today's lie concerns Timothy J. Schwab's claim there are Greek place names in the Philippines. According to Tim Toshish, the son of Javan who founded Greece, sailed with Ophir to the Philippines, stayed here, and named a few landmarks in the Greek language. As we shall see that is a totally bogus claim and another lie. In his videos Tim says. And here's another for posterity's sake, Mount Kanlaon in Negros Occidental is Greek for at least God's people. There we go again. We do not place Negros in Tarshish, but perhaps it is. Therefore, it is our hypothesis that Luzon and surrounding isles are Ophir, Cebu, Bahul, and surrounding isles are Sheba, and Tarshish is Mindanao, Samar, and in between. And the area of Tarshish includes the areas of Tarshish's maritime brothers, Kittim, Elisha, and Dedan, Dodan, Dodanim, whichever name you wish to use. Remember, there are over 7,000 islands in the Philippine archipelago, thus plenty of room for all of these names and many, many more. Tim reiterates this claim in his book, The Search for King Solomon's Treasure. Tim has three sources for this claim. The first is from pilim.com, but this is a Hebrew word and Tim is pretty clear kanleon is Greek compound word. Why he is bringing Hebrew into he makes, because he is reaching, is inconsistent, and has no idea what he is talking about. Why is he citing from a modern Hebrew dictionary rather than a biblical dictionary like Strong's? It appears the word in Strong's is H7066. As you can see Strong's H7066 is two syllables. Kornor, not Gan. The Hebrew does not fit when trying to find the etymology of Can Leon. Tim also makes no attempt to find a Hebrew word for Leon. Why would a word have a Hebrew prefix and a Greek suffix? It wouldn't. For the Greek Tim has two sources. The first is Strong's G2579. His second source is a paper by Benjamin Baxter. Funny that the paper is titled Hebrew and Greek Word Study Fallacies. The fact is the word Leon is Strong's G2992 which is actually Laos it means people but is translated differently depending on the context. Here you can see there are two versions of Leon with differing accents on the third letter meaning they are pronounced differently. According to Tim's video Mount Can Leon means at least God's people. However in his book The Search for King Solomon's Treasure MT Can Leon means bought people of God. The first interpretation makes sense because Tim is using two Greek words. The second interpretation makes zero sense because Tim is using a Hebrew prefix with a Greek suffix. He is literally making stuff up. Of course the etymology of Mount Canleon is well known and it has nothing to do with Greek or Hebrew. The Spanish recorded this fact first over 400 years ago in 1582. The god Lalahan. It is said that the divinity Lalahan dwells in a volcano in Negros Island, whence she holds fire. The volcano is about 5 leagues from the town Averevelo. They invoke Lalahan for their harvest. When she does not choose to grant them good harvests, she sends the locusts to destroy and consume the crops. This Lalahan is a woman. The fact is Mount Canleon is the name of a goddess who lives in the volcano. The teaching that MT Canleon is a Greek and a Hebrew compound word is one more lie being taught about the Philippines by Timothy J. Schwab who is the god culture.